What is up my people, my friends? We are together again. My name is Catherine and we're getting this school year started off right hanging out together in Upstreet Online. And if you missed last week, let me get you up to speed. Okay, last week we learned that God made us all uniquely and differently. God made you exactly who you are and you are wonderful. And this week we're learning about how God made us to make a difference. We'll talk more about that later because I think it's time for us to play a game. Today, I thought we could test our brains and try some riddles. So in a moment, our first riddle will pop up on the screen. You'll have 15 seconds to try to figure out the answer. But don't worry if you don't get it. We'll tell you the answer once the 15 seconds are up. And if you want more time, just pause the video. Are you ready to get started? Here we go. Okay, your first riddle. What can jump higher than a building? And the answer, anything that can jump. Buildings can't jump. <laughs> okay, next one. I'm orange, I wear a green hat, and I sound like a parrot. What am I? A carrot, get it? <laughs> And for the last one, what are two things you can never eat for breakfast? Give up? Lunch and dinner. Did you get any of the riddles right? Some were a little tricky. So our friend Caleb, you know the host of that show with that guy, has got another episode for us to check out. Take a look. Welcome to another episode of that show! Guys, this week we are still talking about uniqueness. Remember, you can't just say uniqueness. You guys are uniqueness. <laughs> We're still talking about uniqueness, and I'm still hanging out with some new friends, just, just learning some of their new talent. We're gonna check out and see what they have to show me. Let's go. Naya, what is your talent? I got two talents. Two talents, people. Brace yourselves. Gymnastics, and I got like a whole split and gymnastics. A whole split? I, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but if you do a split, I'll do a split. Whoa. All right. No more gymnasts. No more gymnasts allowed. All right, should I try one now? Should I try a split? All right, ready? Emily, I'm so sorry. Can you teach me a move? What is this? Oh. Emily, I'm so sorry. Okay, do it one more time. I gotta see if I can. Oh, so it kicks. Okay, so I have to this toe, but then this one back. It's like, like that, right? Okay, ready? Oh! I'm so sorry, Emily. From the start, show me. So it's here. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> okay. Emily, I'm gonna work on my moves. Thank you so much for showing your spot. Oh, so good, girl. Take it away! What did the dad bison say to his son when he went off to college? See you later. Bison. <laughs> okay. Okay, Oliver, you literally served that to me all party. Guys, give it up to all, to all, to all of her. Well, guys, uh, we. Oh, we, that's so satisfying. <laughs> Guys, there are just so many talented people out here. I need a break. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. All right. Uh, first try. <laughs> Guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of That Guy, That Guy, That Guy, That Guy. Uh, <clears throat> As always, stay saucy, love on somebody this week, and I'll see you on the next episode. I was hoping I would burp by now, but I'll do it on the next episode. Peace! Thanks, Caleb. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next week. Now, everyone, jump up on those feet, and let's get ready to sing to our awesome God. From 
Urban streets to open plains. We are under one name. No one is lost or goes unseen. Cause we're all loved by our king. This is nothing ordinary. There is power in the name we carry. Every nation, every tongue.
Okay, so today we're gonna talk about what we're good at. Oh, Lando, the spelling bee, I forgot to tell you. Oh, and I forgot to ask you. Well, I won, like the whole thing. Oh, yes, that is what I'm talking about. I knew she could do it. <laughs> it was so intense, it came down to me and Jackson Joyner. Oh, he's good. Where did you win on? Ceiling, you know, like a ceiling fan? Ceiling starts with an S, right? <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> huh, well that's amazing. God obviously made Lex here great with the words. She might grow up to be a teacher. Or a writer. Hmm. Or a good ceiling speller. <laughs> that's not a thing. Really? Huh. Well, I'm gonna do great things too, because I am amazing at, you, you know, I'm gonna grow up to be, I have no idea. Well, it sounds like Lando might have some thinking to do on that one. You may not realize this yet, but God made you to do great things. Don't believe me? Maybe you're thinking, me? Made to do great things? Um, I think you have the wrong kid. Well, let me introduce you to a few people who thought the same thing. Let's check this out. Hello, Upstreet. So, here's a question for you. What kind of job do you want when you grow up? Well, here's a simpler way. What do you want to be? It's fun to think about what our jobs might be one day. You might want to be a firefighter or a teacher in a classroom or a writer or maybe even a professional basketball player. Airball. That's why understanding how God made you is so important. The things that make you you aren't given to you by God just so you'll stand out and be different from everyone else. God made you to make a difference. You may not even realize this yet, but God made you to do great things. Don't believe me? You may be sitting there thinking, me? Um, I think maybe you have the wrong kid. Well, let me introduce you to a few people who thought the same thing. Check this out. Hey, I'm Brianna, I'm 21, I'm a senior in college, and I'm a video director and editor for a live kids theater production. Whenever you go to anything that has someone on the stage, there are big screens in the room. So I'm in charge of what goes on those screens, or I run a camera, or I create trailers for um, the things that are to come. At a super early age, my parents realized that um, I had a lot of creative thoughts and liked to recreate stories. So my brothers and I would sit in the basement, we'd watch movies, and then I'd run upstairs, I'd grab the camera, hook it up to the TV, you know, get all the angles set and everything, and um, direct my brothers into different scenes from the movies. It was a very serious production. The creative thinking that I had when I was a kid definitely rolled over when I grew up. And so all the stories that I got to tell in the basement, I get to now take stories we've written on paper and bring them to life into big rooms for kids. All of the directing that I did in the basement, I get to do now on a big screen. All of the camera work that I did, I get to do now on bigger cameras. And all of the stop start editing that I did, um, I get to do now on really cool computers. I'm Brianna and God made me to do great things. My name is Dr. Greg Cabrera. I'm a pediatrician, which is a doctor who takes care of children. When I was young, I wanted to be a fireman and a paramedic because I always wanted to help people. One of the biggest qualities and strengths that people saw in me when I was a kid was communication. I loved to talk when I was a kid. Today, communication is helping me as a pediatrician talk to my kids and, and their parents, and it also helps me talk to them about diet, about staying healthy, and helping them when they're sick. How, how my job makes a difference in children and in others is that I see patients um, from birth all the way to 21, and I can help keep them safe and healthy. You know, I become part of their family. That's how they think of me, and that's how you know I think of my patients as my kids. I'm Dr. Greg, and God made me to do great things. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm married to Stephen. We've been married for 25 years, and we have seven children. Three of them are adopted. I had a neighbor growing up that had four kids, and I was always at their house playing with their kids, and she was just always so kind to me about how I was good with her kids, and I was patient and fun and silly, and always coming up with something different for them to do. All those qualities became part of who I am and how I take care of my kids, and how I create memories for them, and how I bring joy to them, and how I love them passionately. 
After Stephen and I had been parents for a long time, I had been a mom for four children, I found out that there were children around me in my own city that didn't have a safe place to sleep and didn't have a mom that hugged them and told them that they were special and created for a purpose. And I knew I could do that. I knew that I could take all of those things, all of those qualities that God gave me and, and, and developed and loved in me as a child and take all that and give that to somebody else in their childhood. I'm Jennifer and God made me to do great things. It's cool to see how God created each of them so uniquely and how those unique things about them led them to do great things. And guess what? The same is true for each of you. God made you to do great things. Now, there's a verse in the Bible that talks about how we were all made with special things about us. Each one of you has different qualities that can be used to serve others and do great things. Check this out. It's a verse written by a guy named Peter, and here is what he said. Each of you should use whatever gifts you have received. Now, a gift is like a trait or a unique quality that makes you, you. Each of you should use whatever gifts you have received to serve others. Now, how cool is that? That even as a kid, God wants to use the special way he made you to serve others and do great things. Now, you might be thinking again, but I'm just a kid. How am I supposed to know what those great things are? Well, first, let's talk about what great really means. Great doesn't have to be big or flashy. Great doesn't mean rich or famous or powerful. Great things are actually little things that you do to make a difference in the world around you. You might love to care for others. So, a great thing for you might be comforting a friend who gets hurt at recess. Maybe someday you'll become a doctor or a nurse. You might be great at helping a new kid find his way around a brand new school. Someday, maybe you'll become a teacher. Or maybe you want other people to know about Jesus. Today, that could be inviting a friend to your Upstreet small group. One day, you might lead a small group of your own. Doing great things for God means loving others the way that He loves us. It means paying attention to people who need help around you and then actually helping them. God made you, and He wants to use the unique way He's made you to do great things. That's the thing we want to remember today. God made you to do great things. Let's pray together and ask God to help us remember that. God, thanks so much for the awesome, unique way you've made each of us. Remind us that you made us to do great things. Help us to understand that great things are really small things we do to show love to others. We love you. Amen. Wow, that was awesome. God created each of them so uniquely, and those unique things about them led them to do some great things. And the same is true for each one of you. God made you to do great things. And doing great things for God means loving others the way that He loves us. I've had a blast hanging out with you this week, and I can't wait to do it again next week. See you then. Bye.